in the labyrinth and world of no property evokes mystery, power, and family feuds like Windermere. A charming Gothic castle on Spoon Island, it stands as a testament to the complex relationships and tumultuous history of the Cassidine family. And now, new developments are happening that have the potential to shake the foundations of this iconic landmark. Ava's Bold Decision Ava Jerome Cassidine, the mansion's newest resident, has had enough. Fed up with Windermere's strangeness, creaking stairs, haunting echoes and perhaps even the ghosts and perhaps even the ghosts of Cassidines from the past, she prepares to say goodbye. With her eyes fixed on peace, she contemplates life elsewhere, where walls don't whisper secrets. Austin's Mysterious Support Interestingly, Austin Gatlin Holt showed surprising support for Ava's drastic move. One has to wonder, what drives Austin's enthusiasm? Is it a genuine concern for Ava's mental health or is there a hidden agenda beneath that friendly exterior? Nicolas, an exiled king. Meanwhile, Nicolas Cassidine, the prodigal son, finds himself in limbo. Currently hiding in Austin's place, he is a king without a kingdom. However, Ava's announcement of the sale of Windermere can be seen as a glimmer of hope. For Nicolas, this may just be a great opportunity to reclaim his ancestral homeland and crown the Cassidine Empire once again. Lucy, Maven Property, enters the scene. Adding a new twist to this ongoing drama, Ava contacts Lucy Co., the bubbly real estate agent. If Lucy makes the big deal, could we see Nicolas become an anonymous buyer, setting the stage for the most dramatic reveal Port Charles has ever seen? Valentine's silent bid for stability. But wait, there is another player in this game. Valentine Cassidine, driven by his fatherly instinct to provide a stable home for his daughter Charlotte, could also join the bidding war. It makes sense that Valentine coveted Windermere, the estate that had been a symbol of Cassidine's power for generations. However, he may have to go through a rude awakening. Rekindling old flames and ancient feuds. In what could be a devastating turning point for Valentine, Nicolas is able to steal Windermere right under his nose for a staggeringly high price. This will not be just a property acquisition, it will mark the rebirth of the legendary feud between the Cassidine cousins. We are talking about an epic battle, filled with surprises that can topple alliances as well as rivalry. Shockwaves and long-lost lovers Of course, the most amazing aspect of all of this is that Nicolas is still alive, a revelation that will shock Ava to the bottom of her heart. Given that Ava has always been obsessively demanding to see Nicolas's lifeless body, imagine her surprise when she discovered her ex is not only alive but also a lord. New from Windermere, as we brace ourselves for the aftershocks of this dramatic film, one thing is for sure, Windermere will soon have a new owner. Be it Valentine, in his quest for his father's legacy, or Nicolas, in his dramatic return to glory, each is a formidable opponent in this age-old battle for supremacy. Conclusion. So General Hospital fans, fasten your seat belts. The race for Windermere promises to be a roller coaster ride full of emotional twists, shocking revelations, and family troubles. Whoever becomes the new owner, the Windermere story is far from over. It is a story destined to be told for generations to come. Thank you for diving into the maze of General Hospital's most iconic grounds. Until next time, goodbye.